We're live. We're live. What's up, guys? It's Power Bang. Welcome back to another Brawl Stars episode. And this is the update edition where I'm going to cover everything that's going live in the Brawl Stars update coming to you today. September update 2017. Brawl Stars is getting a lot of new content. I've got a laundry list of everything coming. I'm going to go over that with you in just a second. Get your popcorn. Now, I'm not even going to lie, guys. The list is super long of things that we got to go over. A lot, a lot of stuff is coming to the game. And you guys may have heard in Ash and I's interview with the Supercell Community Manager. The game's not quite yet ready yet for global launch or Android launch for that matter, which it pains me because I'm, I'm, I'm an Android guy. But you know what? I'm going to be patient because I've played it. I've got an iPhone and I've played it. It needs more content so people aren't able to rush through it really quickly and essentially beat the game. We're going to talk more about beating the game here in just a little bit because they've solved a lot of those issues and have also added a ton of content. So first and foremost, this brawler menu looks a little bit different than usual. Check this out. Two new brawlers coming to the game, starting off with Pam. She is an extended member of the Junker family. She's actually supposed to be Jesse's mom. Now that gets a song stuck in my head. That's okay, but Pam is the fabled Mini Gunner. Now, if you guys remember the Mini Gunner, this was something that somebody found uh, a leak of or whatever. Uh, the Mini Gunner is Pam. So she shoots back and forth. I'm going to show you guys gameplay in just a moment here on Pam. The most notable thing about this character, though, is she has a support character and actually can drop a heal station. You can see it there, the blue uh, little turret with the green cross. Instead of a turret like Jesse throws that does damage, this actually heals a specific radius, and it heals at max level 75 per second. I believe it's 60 at level 1. That's pretty good because it even heals while you're firing, and it can heal more than one person at a time. So if anybody's inside that radius, they're going to get the benefit of the heal. So that's one of the characters. Uh, doesn't do a lot of direct damage. We'll go over that in more detail here shortly. The next one is Terra. Now, Terra is kind of a mystic character, uh, like a little gambit that throws the card. She's got three cards. I'll show you that in just a moment. But this is kind of a cool one. She's got a similar range to Shelly, throws the three cards. They actually penetrate the target. So if you run up against another brawler, it's kind of like Nita, how Nita's attack goes through the target and will hit things behind it as well. Comes in very handy, like in Showdown, when you're throwing cards through boxes, um, or even taking on a group of brawlers, that penetration attack comes in very handy. Now, the super is really cool as well, called Gravity, and it's essentially a black hole. It drops on the center of the, uh, basically, you drop it on the map, the center of that super will drag everybody in the range of it to it and then explode. And it basically kind of drags people out of position into the open and allows your team or yourself to completely unload on them. So two new brawlers coming. What is this red color power pang? What does this background even mean? We have a whole new categorization system, new rarity tiers up and down the board. Two new tiers have been added. Formerly it was common, rare, epic, and legendary. We now have Super Rare and Mythic in addition to those as well. So the order now goes common. You can see right here, Shelly is like a, a sea green aqua color. That is the new common color. You can see the rare colors are now the lime green color, which the previous commons were similar to this. Maybe a little bit darker. But Bull is now a rare brawler. He was before, but the colors changed to green rather than blue. So that's a little bit interesting. It'll take some getting used to. The next step up is super rare. Ricochet, as well as Poco and Bo, have been moved to the new super rare category. Now, that's bumping Poco and Ricochet up a category and Bo down a category. I think all of those changes are actually pretty good, especially considering Ricochet's recent buffs. Next up, we have the epic category. Piper stays put. Still that purpley pink background. And Pam, the new Junker, the support character, the mini gunner. She is also going to be an epic brawler as well. We also have Mortis moving up to the mythic status. And mythic is just below legendary. Legendary is still going to be exactly the same. Mythic, though, sees Mortis as well as Terra, the new brawler. And both of those characters will be sitting in that new red color um, as far as Mythic goes. Now, we've got Legendary. Seems a little bit more yellow than it used to. I, I feel like it was more orange before. 
Probably a little slight differentiation from the Mythic class. Uh, but we've got Spike and Crow, as per usual, at the Legendary level. Um, and here's where things get a little bit interesting. Now, let's go over to the shop. This looks completely different. We've got a brand new shop overhaul, guys. Two new items uh, as far as... Uh, the brawler, yeah, we kind of covered that already. I got to go down this list because it's literally so much stuff. New shop brawler boxes, rare, super rare, and epic. Those are these guys right down here. A lot of you have been uh, voicing your concerns that it's too difficult to get those epic brawlers. Like, you got the rares, you got the commons, but you just couldn't get even the, you know, the epic ones. Not even worried about the legendary ones. Those are obviously hard to attain and rightfully so. But, like, even the epic ones, you guys had been playing for a couple months, hadn't gotten them. This is now a way that if you are willing to spend a very small amount of money, 30, 80, 170 gems, it actually guarantees that you get one brawler of a particular type. That's actually pretty cool. Um, we've got a rare for 30, uh, super rare for 80, epic for 170. It guarantees you a certain type of brawler, although it could still be a duplicate. But that being said, an epic, there's only two of them. So how many times do you really got to open a box? Once you have one open, um, it actually says you have already, uh, you have already unlocked all the brawlers. So you can't actually spend any more on that. Another thing that they have is now the brawl box. You've got a 10 gem brawl box as well as the 80 gem big box uh don't have enough gems to open it but essentially it is a boosted brawl box 10 brawl boxes for the price of eight is essentially what you're seeing there in the big box and it just opens them back to back to back and you get kind of a cumulative total of all the elixir all the chips etc that you have coming out of those brawl boxes another thing they've added are the coin doublers you can see the coin doublers the coin boosters they've added stuff like that to the actual brawl boxes um you've got starter packs that have unlocked at xp levels 10 20 and 30 so those are new things that came to the shop to help like you know basically milestone levels help you along when you get to those levels um the visual overhaul is obviously very apparent things are starting to look much cleaner looking way better uh, across the board, then obviously you got the gem packs at the bottom. Now, the prices are blank on this because I am on the developer build. There will be a couple of weird looking things. Uh, players online indicator one, just me. And then, uh, the, you know, the D at the bottom, that is uh, a developer menu, not going to be in the regular game. So don't get all amped up that you're going to get some sort of backdoor access. Hey, anyways, we've got uh, new items. Uh, in the Brawl Boxes, mentioned the Coin Booster, the Coin Doubler, Super Rare and Mis Mythic. I always want to say Mystic. Mythic Elixir uh, Drops are also in there as well. So in addition to the, the Brawlers that have come at Super Rare and Mythic Tiers, you now have uh, basically Elixir that goes along with that. I believe Super Rare is 3, and the Mythic, I want to say, is 7? Maybe 8. Cannot recall exactly. It's either 7 or 8 on the uh, the number. Legendary is still 10. All right. Coin cap has been added. See how I have 17,532? That's not going to be a thing anymore. You won't lose your coins if you're over 9,999. However, you will not be able to earn any more. They're trying to, I think, keep the numbers inside the menu there. But really, there's no need for that many coins. So they cap you at 9999. And then uh, you'll just have to spend it when you need you know, to clear up some space. Next up, we've got the leaderboard, guys. You guys have seen, uh, hey, it's me. It's me. Okay, let's go to, where am I going right now? There we go. Let's go leaderboard. So on the normal build, you've got uh, essentially a leaderboard list of players. And in the regular build, all of that says 500 for the top players on each particular brawler. Now, because there were 16 brawlers at 500 trophies a peach, a peach, a piece, each of those character, each of those players could get a maximum of 8,000 trophies, and that is currently beating the game. That's not going to be a thing anymore, guys. 500, the cap on that has been dropped. You can now go above 500 trophies per brawler, but it's going to be difficult. And not only that, it can you can go as long as you want to go, but it's probably going to get harder. You'll get punished more if you lose. You'll gain less if you win. That being said, how is it going to work? Can you just push up forever? Well, no. At the end of each season, there are now going to be seasons implemented into Brawl Stars. At the end of each season, 
you're going to see the trophies get degraded a little bit. They're going to be decreased. For each trophy that you have over 500, you're going to have 50% of that total removed and you'll drop a little bit at the end of the season. Similar to like in Clash Royale, how they have a trophy reset to 4,000 cups or 5,000 in Clash of Clans. That's essentially the same principle here, but anything over 500. So say for example, you have 600 trophies on your brawler and at the end of the season, half of that is 50. You will drop down to 550 and restart the next season from there. So the people that were in first place will still be in first place just by maybe a little bit smaller of a margin and things kind of start over. So it'll be a great opportunity for those players to kind of push up and continue to compete to see who is actually best instead of beating the game and being done with the content. So seasons will last two weeks. Uh, we've got gold rewards for total trophies and highest brawler trophies. So you guys are going to get hooked up for those people that are actually pushing up and uh, succeeding, hitting the top of the leaderboards. You guys are going to get hooked up with in-game swag. Uh, next up, we've got balance changes, but I don't want to get to that yet. I want to go to Brawl Ball. Brawl Ball is a brand new event. You guys have been saying we want some capture the flag. We want some sort of, uh, yeah, I don't even know. Let's go ahead, demo a couple of the new brawlers in Brawl Ball. Now, Brawl Ball, you see it right here, guys. You got essentially some soccer or football if you're international. Check this out. I've got Pam. Look at that. Uh, look at that junk. You can see this is one shot, by the way. You see her going back and forth, back and forth, just like that. She doesn't do an extraordinary amount of damage to one single target, but, uh, you know, it's, it's not bad. But where it's pretty cool is up close. So check this out. I'll get close. This is bots, by the way. So, ah, we scored a goal. I'm going to get to the game mode in just a second, but I wanted to show you guys the brawler. Okay. So I've, I've got my super. Check this out. I can throw my super right out here and anything in there. I'm actually healing up. I want to I wanna actually get shot. Come on, Shelly. You can shoot me. You know you want to. You know you want to. These bots are horrible, guys. I think they made the bots worse. All right. So I've been throwing the ball. I can no longer shoot. I can't shoot, but you know what? I can fire it. So just kick it. Boom. There it is. I'm going to go get it again. So you can kick it, and I'm kicking it the wrong way right now. I'm very well aware. But this is our goal. Uh, the enemy is trying to kick the ball into that. While I have the ball, I cannot shoot. Anorak Swain, welcome to Banger Nation, dude. Thank you for the new sub on YouTube. I really, really appreciate that. All right, so I cannot shoot. But what I can do is pass the ball to uh, somebody else and let them kind of do their thing. So... Heal station is down. I did uh, did a little bit of uh, damage, but look at the look at the healing there. Back up to full pretty quickly, and I am just gonna get hit here so I can go heal up. Show you guys how quickly it, it regenerates. So, you oh no, oh no, they scored a goal. So here it is, one for each squad. We need to get to two. That is the that is the winning number right now, and I am just going to fire my little gun here in anywhere in the. I don't know what I'm even blow, getting blown up by. I was watching Dynamite and I didn't see him throw anything. But uh, we are not going to lose this, dang it. I'm, I'm sitting here explaining. Uh, but yeah, we, it's it's a soccer match, basically, guys. We can uh, take this. One cool feature is you can fire from a long way away with the super. You can use your super just like that and kick the ball in from all the way down the field. Uh, you can see here, there's Pam. She got that little tattoo on the shoulder. That's what I'm talking about. She's rough and tumble. Getting it done, though, in Brawl Ball. Let's go ahead and take a look at Terra really quickly. I'll do another map uh, match real quick. We will look at Brawl Ball once again. Go to Bob Brawl and Terra. All right. Sorry, guys. My voice is failing me. I'm still sick, still powering through. But you can see the, uh, the cards there. Decent range on those and actually a pretty good amount of damage. You can see Primo kind of coming up. And uh, why don't we show you guys the super ability? Oh, never mind. I'll just pass it to Shelly there and uh, make it so she can't do anything. I, I didn't know that I had the ball. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to drop my super, and I'm going to show you guys how that works. So here it is. Let's drag Shelly all the way over here. See how it pulled her? It's like a gravitational pull. And uh, that's pretty sweet. Hyper shot. Welcome to the channel, dude. Really appreciate the sub. All right, so there it is. I'm gonna hook uh, Dynamite up there. And, no, he tried to hook me up. 
but I hooked him up first. So you can see here, oh my gosh, here, have that. Nope. So, pretty cool little super there. I could see this being super, super effective with Dynamite, with uh, with Barley. Uh, somebody putting that, you know, that super down. Nice shot there, getting the goal. Very cool. So that is kind of the premise. We've got another kind of spread shot brawler here, but you can see penetrates all this stuff, and then you can actually drop in a, a nice bomb. Now, the, the super itself doesn't do a ton of damage, but it can really wreck people's position. Um, getting close with this brawler doesn't do quite the damage that Shelly does. Um, I gave, I gave uh, Mike the ball. <laughs> it's my favorite thing to do in this game mode is pass to somebody else. And just left it here. Let's drag them to their own. <laughs> I just dropped the uh, the orb, the gravity orb, behind Primo and sucked him into his own goal. So Terra is awesome. I think I'm really gonna like playing this brawler. I hope you guys enjoyed the preview on the the new ones, Pam and Terra. Uh, we've got more stuff to cover though, guys. Brawl Ball is a thing. New game mode, I like how that's kind of casual in nature, but I could see people going hard on that. I could see that being, like whoever thought like Rocket League, for example, cars playing soccer in a freaking arena indoors, whoever thought that would be a thing. And now it's one of the bigger esports in the world. I have a feeling this Brawl Ball is gonna be pretty intense when you get some good teams going at it. You know, there's new maps on every, uh, every event level. We've got uh, Groundhog Burrow in Bounty. We've got Deep Hollows in Smash and Grab. Uh, GG Corral in Heist. And we've got three Brawl Ball maps that are coming at you, including Backyard Bull, which you just saw. Uh, we covered the leaderboard. We covered, uh, we did not cover the events yet. We've got a fourth event slot unlocked. You can see at the bottom here, instead of eight Brawlers, you now only need seven to get that unlocked. That's actually pretty cool. Bounty players. This is actually a pretty big change. I'm going to go in right now and demonstrate this. I'll take Barley. Notice the stars on top of your head. We're starting the matches now with two stars rather than one. This is supposed to even things out a little bit and uh, make it so there's not as huge of swings, essentially. So that's kind of what's up. Uh, barley with bots, guys. I tell you what, you guys want to do a little challenge? See how many, uh, see how many bot kills you can get in a single game. Tell me if you can beat 75. That's what I did in one bot game. I mean, it was ridiculous. So, essentially, uh, when people die, it it looks like on this mode, like I was told that uh, they were actually going to come back to life with with one. But it looks like every time now, they're gonna come back with two stars. So this will make it so like if you have seven, right? And you, you've done super, super well, the other team can't kill you until the very end and then you die and you come back and realize that they, they all have one star and you can't like get the points back. This will make it so you can chip away pretty quickly in return. So that's actually pretty exciting. We'll quit out of there. Bounty changes, I think those are great. Um, Let's see, what else? We've got, uh, oh, Center Star in Bounty no longer raises the bounty for the player that picks it up. So before it was like this evil, like, oh, I don't want to get the Center Star because I'm going to risk my life to go get it, likely die. And instead of us getting credit for that star, it just gives another star to the opponent when they kill you. And it's essentially a, an even or negative trade, depending on how things kind of go in that center fight. So now it's a free star that goes to your overall total. So going for it at all costs may be the route to go. All right. Heist. The safe hit points have decreased by 200 in Bandit Stash and Kaboom Canyon and by 1,200 in Safe Zone. So a little bit easier for the offense on Heist overall. On Showdown, Poison Gas now destroys power-up boxes. So as the clouds come in, it will tick away at the boxes that are kind of disappearing into the clouds. Make it easier for those weaker brawlers that are kind of stuck on the edge and kind of cornered. Maybe they can actually, uh, instead of wasting shots on a box when there's a Primo right there cornering you, the poison gas will help you out now. So that's kind of cool. Next up, we've got uh, some other changes. AFK player detection. How many times, guys, have you, uh, you know, had those AFK players in your matches. That's a little bit frustrating, not gonna lie. So we've got a we've got a feast or famine matchup going right now. So check out Terra here. Pretty cool on showdown. Not 
I'm not gonna lie at all. I mean, that's actually not too shabby. The penetration there is really, really cool. Um, but yeah, the AFK players, they've got some sort of AFK player detection now, which is it's just a quality of life stuff. And that's a lot of what they needed was quality of life um, in addition to content. So excited to see that. We also have brawler selection added to game rooms. And I will show you guys that in uh, just a moment. That's a big one for me. Uh, I don't know how many times you guys have been, uh, you know, trying to select a brawler and they previously had that tap method. Oh my god, that was just so frustrating. And I'm just about to get killed by gold here. Um, but yeah, they had the tap method and you'd pass the, the intended brawler that you're trying to be. Which is just a nightmare because, you know, you want to be a brawler, you skip over them because they're not in like alphabetical order or anything. That would make it too easy. Alright, so check this out. Out you go. Dude, that's such a cool super. Such a cool super. You can pull them out of the bushes. Um, you can't pull them through walls, but, I mean, it's pretty cool stuff, man. Where is this guy? I saw him running around. Where is he? There he is. Just showing, I mean, tactically played there. Very nice work, Primo. Just chilling for me. He's like, hey, here I am. Come and get me. Not like it's going to matter. Very good stuff. So, I really like this new Brawler Terra. She is solid. She hits hard. Penetrates. Love that stuff. All right. We've got graphics improvements to multiple Brawlers. Terra being one of them. She wasn't here, but I like the way she looks, actually. Um, like, for example, let's show you guys Jesse. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember what she looked like before, but sort of cartoony, like more 3D. Um, she's got, like, you know, really cool looking graphics now, actually. And, and that was one of my biggest gripes at first was the graphics. Now she's looking pretty good. The game itself is coming along, and I feel like as they continue to move along on the timeline, the polish continues to, it continues to get added. So pretty cool stuff. Damn of W2S, thank you so much for the new sub. Really appreciate you joining Banger Nation. We also have new joystick improvements, guys. Uh, we now have a fixed joystick for both left-handed and right-handed players. So you'll be able to see that if you're a joysticker. I'm personally not, but this is actually really, really good news for controls. Hopefully you guys like that. I don't know, because I'm not a joysticker. Tapping works great for me. Next up, we've... Oh, this is a big one. This is a real big one. If you guys go to your band, create a band. Uh, yeah, now, uh, let's go PB. I don't know if it'll say. Done, create, boom. Oh, hey, there's one right here. Check that out. 100 members. 100 members. They've finally broken the mold. 100 is the new uh, max amount of, of players that you can have in the same band, which is the clan name for uh, Brawl Stars band. 100 members. That is amazing. So that's coming. Uh, we've gone over the rarities and stuff, but let's talk about the brawlers. Shelly, Colt, Nita, Dynamite, and Primo are now common. Bull, Brock, Barley, and Jesse are rare. Rico, Poco, and Bo are super rare. Piper and Pam are epic. You've got Mortis and Terra as Mythic, and Spike and Crow still as Legendary. So all of those characters have their new little classification. We've got Brawler Elixir upgrade levels shown at the match end screen. You guys saw that when I was playing just a little bit ago. Showed you how many uh, Elixir I've put into a particular Brawler. That way you can see who you're playing with and how strong they are. Um, we also have a lot of sound effects improvements across the board. You're going to hear that as you play. They say funny things now. Uh, the sound overall is just much, much cleaner, crisper, and more content there. That's kind of the theme of this update. More content. I'm trying to wrap it up, guys. So much to go over. Um, I believe the only thing left to show you guys is the game room. So I'm going to go ahead and make a game room. Check this out. So here it is. Remember how you guys used to have to tap on the characters? Well, now you can tap on the characters and it'll open up the screen where you go select your character. How freaking easy is that? That's so much better than how it used to be. My one complaint is I still want a settings button on this screen so I can change whether or not I want to tap or joystick per whatever brawler I select because some people play it differently. Like Arlight even, the community manager at Supercell, he plays differently based off of what brawler he is playing with. It would be cool to be able to change that from the screen without quitting the group and then going to settings. And you can see now the control mode 
tap to move, joystick move right-handed, joystick move left-handed. That's pretty cool. So tap to move is what I'm going to stay on. That is pretty much it, though, guys, for the new update. A whole lot of new maps. We've got new brawlers. We've got new game modes. Crazy. So I am super pumped about the direction this game is going. It is not quite there for global or Android per the developer. I happen to agree with them. But I think the changes, the balance tweaks, everything that they're introducing is making the game much better, much funner, and they're making the right decisions. So, that being said, I do have to cover balance changes that are coming to the different brawlers. Okay, let's start at the top. We've got Bo. Now, Bo, I didn't feel like his super was uh, super underpowered before, but it, it, it has four mines now. Catch a Fox is the new name. 300 damage at base level per trap. At max level, look at this, 375, four of them! Like, he's able to drop almost any brawler one shot if he catches him in the middle. So, Bo got a big buff. Jesse, Scrappy's rate of fire uh, is decreased. So, we're talking her super. That uh, rate of fire is decreased, but she still does a lot of damage with it. It's just not quite as crazy as it was just a few, uh, a few days ago. Um, Piper. Piper's getting tuned down a little bit. She's getting nerfed. Taking her damage from 440 all the way down to 420, from 575 to 525 uh, at max max range. So the, the Gunbrella's getting nerfed a little bit. So Piper, I still think you'll be good, but, uh, you know. One change, guys, that's coming. This one you got to kind of see to understand. Let's go check out Brock. Brock is getting buffed. His reload time is going from 2.3 seconds to 2.1 seconds. I mean, watch how fast he can fire his arrows. Look at this. His arrows, his uh, his rockets. I mean, he, he can literally, like when he's chasing somebody, he can lead them and then take slightly different angle there. Look at that. And get both of them. I mean, Brock is gonna be a menace to society. I'm telling you right now, Brock is gonna be really, really good. In addition, not only did they decrease the, the reload time for him, you can see right there, you can just pump out stuff. Watch this. His uh, his super, well, I die, of course, as I'm firing it. His super, the radius got shrunk way down. It's no longer huge and, and kind of easy to dodge. Um, it actually got shrunk down, and he now can, uh, can really deal some damage with his super. I'm so out of practice with Brock, though. I've been playing Piper, like, exclusively. When it comes to one-shot range characters, um, Brock hasn't really been my cup of tea. But now, I definitely plan to use him a little bit more. I just want to get this super really quickly so I can kind of demonstrate. Where is Shelly? Is she? Ah, uh, it's, it's cold. Okay. Got the super. Here we go. Let's watch Brock's super right now together. So here is the, you know, it's on the screen. It's much smaller than it used to be. Why, why are the bots like, they, they know. They just know. Wow, look at that angle. Man, so Brock, I'm gonna try one more super. There we go. So, I mean, got this guy over here. It wasn't even really trying to get him, but a couple of rockets into Colt. Pretty good stuff, man. Brock is going to be an absolute beast. So, I really like the changes to Brock. Let's talk about Spike a little bit. Spike's slowdown lasts less time once out of his range. So, when you're in the that cactus stuff, the stick around his super, as soon as you get out of it, you kind of get back up to full speed rather than being slowed down for, for longer. In addition, we've got Poco with some changes as well. Poco... No longer heals minions, so like turrets or bears or healing stations. None of that stuff is going to get healed anymore. Poco's got a little bit of different graphic look to him now. I think he looks pretty good. He's got a he's got a mariachi guitar now, some magenta and green, rather than the typical black and, and brown guitar. Um, he can't heal minions anymore. His supercharged speed has increased from six hits to five hits. So he can't heal uh, minions, but he can heal players quicker. One, one fewer hits, and he's good to go. Uh, with the addition of Pam, creating a team with minions and healers would be too strong of a team composition. Now, no heals will affect any minions. So, they were saying with Pam in the game, you could run Pam Poco. 
and Nita, and like you'd have bears and turrets and healing stations, and Poco could just sit back and heal them all and keep everything healed up. That would be OP. I agree. Um, man, I hope I've covered everything. There is so much coming to this update, guys. I really hope you're excited for it. I know I am. Um, let's let's just hop back into the game. I just threw my phone down because I'm like done looking at it, but. That's a wrap for the video. Good God, over a half an hour so far. I did not mean to make it that long, but just to go through all of this stuff and explain what's coming, that's how long it took. It's unbelievable. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the update. Brawl Stars is uh, chugging along, guys. It's still moving in the right direction. I'm having a blast with it. Cannot wait to play this update. You let me know in the comments what your favorite part of this update is. I don't even know what to, I don't I, I gotta I gotta say the new brawlers I guess um I, I'm, I'm liking Terra I'm liking Terra I think that's gonna be my favorite part of the new update but we'll have to wait and see this power bang like the video if you liked it and uh subscribe for more Brawl Stars action you know you want to I will see you guys in the next episode y'all take care guys <laughs>